Hello champions. Welcome to the next lecture on the CSR net July 2025 solutions. Today I will explain you how you can solve the calculus of variation questions which was asked in the part B and part C with the help of the shortcut tricks. Myself Dr. Harish Kirk, you can follow and subscribe my YouTube channel where you can find the various lectures related to the CSR net and the gate mathematics all with the help of the shortcut tricks. And students if you if you watch my this lecture calculus of variations last minute revision which I just uploaded one day before the examinations then you can solve each problems either from the part B either from the part C in a very very simple manner. Fine. So how you can solve all these questions in a very simple manner. Let's start with this video. But before watching this let's kindly like and comment on this video as well. Chali, sabse is question ko solve karte hai. How you can solve this problem in a five second time periods? Very very simple. The similar question I already explained in the last minute calculus of variation lecture. If you read the statement the given function is f is my a y dash square plus 2b y y dash plus c of y square. Is it okay? Now how you can solve this problem in a very very simple manner? Look at that. For what value of the ABC, the problem is my minimization. Every admissible extremal, what is the meaning of the extremal? Extremal is my Y. That means the first statement say for all those values of the Y, J is my minimizer. For every is a minimizer for every, for every. That means in each options, they are talking about for all. So what is the meaning of that? Basically, they are talking about the strong minima fine so what is the condition that I tell you in this strong minima if you remember my this lecture last minute revision you can this the part C you can easily get the 4.75 marks in the 5 second time period what is the condition for this strong minima F whatever whatever the F is given to you you can find the two times derivative with respect to F y dash it must be 0 so can you find the F of y dash y dash it is my two twice of a when it will be greater than zero it is greater than only whenever a is my positive number but what about the b and c b and c can have any value because there is no restriction on the a and b so look at the option which has a is greater than zero yes a is my greater than zero a greater than zero a greater than zero right answers are b c and d are my correct answers क्या आपका भी क्वेश्चन ये सही हुआ है और क्या आपने भी इसी अप्रोच से सॉल्व करा था और अगर आपने इसी अप्रोच से नहीं सॉल्व करा देन आई मस्ट रिकमेंडेड यू वॉच माई दिस कैलकुलस ऑफ वेरिएशन लास्ट मिनट रिविजन लेक्चर तो आप खुद कहोगे सर व्हाट एन अप्रोच टू सॉल्व दी प्रॉब्लम फाइन चलिए अगला पार्ट बी का क्वेश्चन सोल्व कर लेते हैं पहले फाइन विच ऑर द फॉलोइंग इज द वैल्यू ऑफ दी वाई सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वट इज द एफ वाई डे स्केयर माइनस फोर वाई स्क्र प्लस टू एक्स वाई फर्स्टली लुक अबाउट दी कॉन्स्टेंट्स ऑफ कॉन्स्टेंट वेदर इज सेटिस्फाई दी गिवन कंडीशन साइन जीरो इज जीरो जीरो इज जीरो फाइव बाई फोर इज अ फाइव बाई टू वन फाइव बाई फोर विल बी कैंसल सेटिस्फाइड फाइव बाई फोर सेटिस्फाइड जीरो एंड जीरो सेटिस्फाइड ऑल दीज कॉन्स्टेंट्स आर सेटिस्फाइड देन वट इज द आइलर इक्वेशन इज डेल स्केयर एफ माइनस डी बाई डी एक्स और यू कैन यूज एज ए पार्शियल डेरिवेटिव there is no problem is my zero fine so let's start with this one can you find the first derivative minus 8y plus 2x minus d over dx of 2y dash is zero fine i can cancel that two it is a minus 4y plus x minus y double dash is zero that means y double dash plus 4y is equal to x fine so firstly I can find the particular integral. The particular integral means the value of the 1 over d square plus 4 into x. I can take 4 as a common. Then I can write this number is d square over 4 minus 1. I can use the binomial expansion. It will be 1 minus d square 4 and so on. So that will give you x over 4. Now look at the options which has the x over 4. Only b is the right answer of this. Problem. Fine. Otherwise, the second way is 
can you find the simple solution it is a c1 cos of 2x plus c2 sin of 2x lekin jab aap examination mein ho aapke paas 1 minute ka samay hai solve karne ke liye to hamesha pi ko hi solve karna hai fine to aapka solution kya ban jayega final solution will be c1 cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x plus x over 4 fine lekin jo main bhi bata raha hu iski zarurat nahi hai find the value of y0 y0 is 0 that give you the c1 is 0 second value apply karoge so it is a pi over 2 plus pi over 16 you can see the value of the c2 will be 1 minus pi over 16 fine aur agar aap is tarah ke lecture aur dekhna cha rahe ho to you can see calculus of variation py question of the calculus of variation one is the last minute and second is these are the lectures which are available at my youtube channel chaliye agla agla karte hain again is a part c again is a very very simple what is the f f is my y dash square over x raised to power alpha so then you firstly start with this condition d by dx of f over y dash is 0 yahan pe aap bachcho dx likhiye chahe partial derivative likhiye ek hi baat hai fine there is no issue so anyhow i can use as a dx so kitni value ho gayi 0 minus d by dx of 2 y dash over x raised to power alpha is 0 what does it means that implies y dash over x raised to power alpha is my constant or you can say y dash is c x raised to power alpha yahan tak to koi dikkat nahi hai now look at the given conditions pehle check kar lete hain option mein se kaun sa option discard ho raha hai y of 1 is 1 15 is 15 fine 16 plus 14 30 by 2 fine 1 plus 2 3 is 3 fine 4 plus 2 6 over 3 is fine 1 and 1 satisfied 1 minus 1 plus 2 satisfied 4 minus 2 plus 2 all are satisfied sabse pehle j0 ki baat karte hain third option ki baat karte hain j0 that means alpha is my zero so if alpha is my zero what is the meaning of the derivative y dash is c that means y is equal to cx plus beta some constant fine but aap ye bhi dekh sakte ho first derivative is my constant to aap dekho yahi se ye same cheez ban rahi hai aapke paas y of 1 is 1 c plus beta y of 2 is equal to 2 agar aap dono ko solve karoge you will get c is equal to 1 beta is my 0 so yes third option is the correct state now look at the j1 for the case of the second and the third fourth alpha is my 1 what does it implies y dash is my c of x is it okay to iska matlab y dash aapka kya hona chahiye only coefficient of the x is case mein aapka y dash kitna aa raha hai 2x minus 1 over 2 which is not equal to cx why because of this present of the minus 1 term ye to nahi aa raha na isme minus of a kuch aisa term to nahi aayi na aapke paas so that means the last option is cancel look at this case is case mein aapka y dash kitna ho raha hai it is 2 over 3 into x to ye cx ki form ka hi hai yes it is my right option aur agar aap chahte ho karna solve examination mein but there is no need but if you still want to solve you can integrate them it is c x square over 2 plus beta you can find the value of the beta by using this equations again you will get c will be my 2 over 3 beta will be my 2 over 3 fine but there is no need because we can easily discard the options or correct the options now look at the first options the value of the alpha is my 3 when alpha is 3 that means y dash is c into x cube to so, iska derivative kar lete hain what is the value of the y dash according to the first case 4 over 15 x cube yes it is also in this form this is the right answer because it already satisfied the given conditions so that means which of the following statements are my true a c a b and c are the right answer of this problem lekin agar aap isko fir se usi tarah se solve karna chahte ho you can integrate them it is c over 4 x4 
plus beta and then you can substitute the value 1 plus beta and 2 ke upar fill karenge it's a 16 16 over 4 is 4 plus beta now if you subtract them you will get the value of the c is my what is the value of the c it is you can subtract them it is a minus 1 it is 15 over 4 that is a 4 over 15 and the value of the beta is again 4 over 15 14 over 15 over 14 over 15 so the right answer is a b c are the correct answer of this problem मैं फिर कह रहा हूं बच्चों बार-बार आपको इन लेक्चर्स को सुनिए सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट लेक्चर आपके लिए जो मैंने लास्ट मिनट ऑफ लास्ट मिनट रिवीजन में अपलोड करा था अगर अभी तक आपने नहीं देखा यू मस्ट वॉच इट अगेन नाउ आई होप यू कैन लाइक एंड कमेंट ऑन दिस वीडियो एज़ वेल वी विल सी द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन द इंटीग्रल इक्वेशन वेरी सून टिल देन यू कैन शेयर दिस वीडियो विद योर फ्रेंड्स बेस्ट ऑफ लक स्टूडेंट्स हैप्पी लर्निंग